In module one, we're going to focus on finding what I call your deep why for law school admissions. So I remember when I was in the spring break of my sophomore year in high school, uh, my family and I took blocked out a couple of days and we traveled around to different colleges. Um, and we were focused at the time on different pre-med programs uh, because my, my father was a doctor and so the assumption uh, with my parents was that I would also uh, go to med school. And then I remember at the end of the trip, uh, I was totally bored and demoralized and I just knew that the idea of, sort of spending four years in college preparing for med school uh, just did not make sense. And so when I got back, I finally talked to my parents and uh, told them, you know, look, this whole pre-med plan is not going to work. It's not really what I'm interested in. Um, and so we eventually sort of realized that this didn't make sense. And from that point forward, I, I felt free to pursue what I really wanted to do, which was politics uh, and public policy. And, and then I began to think about how to break into that field, and I decided for a variety of reasons that, uh, that law school generally was what made sense, but also that there were uh, particular law schools that would help me to get to that goal. And the reason that ended up being important is that over the coming years, even though some of my plans and ideas and so forth changed, um, the overall plan and strategy and goal of, um, of uh, going to law school, uh, going to top law school a as a means of going uh, into a career in politics never really changed. And that allowed me basically to navigate the law school admissions process efficiently because I always knew what I needed to focus on, I knew why I was doing it, and it helped me overcome a lot of the distractions and doubts and so forth. So I think obviously each of you are going to have a, a different uh, set of goals and, and strategies and so forth, but I think it's really important at the outset to figure out your why, to figure out uh, why, why you want to go to law school, why you want to go to a particular law school. And that way, it's going to help you do two things. One is uh, really sort of uh, having a source of motivation, a foundation to avoid distraction and other, and fatigue and all the other things that will, and doubts that will eventually come about. But the other is that it'll really allow you to uh, have a focused, narrow, tailored, efficient strategy that's going to maximize your odds of getting in. So the way to begin to figure out your why is, as an initial exercise, I would take out a, open a Word document or take out a, a piece of paper and um, spend some time just making a list of the top reasons why you want to go to law school. And, um, and I would think about uh, your intellectual interests, I would think about uh, what you want to do for your career, um, and then I would also think about uh, other things, sort of how, how much money you want to make, um, uh, maybe think about whether it would make uh, other people in your family happy, just really think about all the motivations you have, all the goals you have, uh, all the things that you might achieve by going to a top law school. Uh, and then once you have that, what I would do is look at each of the things on your list and uh, just like you would as a law student or ultimately a legal practitioner, look at each reason uh, carefully and critically and, and try to make uh, the best counter argument that you can on why these reasons are not valid or why they, they're not worth pursuing. Um, so for example, you might, uh, maybe one of your goals is that you're, you're interested in uh, becoming a, an attorney to uh, help people manage uh, uh, sort of a, a difficult tax or a regulatory issue. So then maybe the counter argument would be, well, maybe there's another career path that could allow you to do that. Um, and then I would also think in terms of counter arguments, this is a time really to air um, any doubts or insecurities you might have. Maybe you're wondering if you're smart enough. Maybe you're wondering if you'll be capable of 
getting the right LSAT score or GPA. Um, uh, so I would just think about all of these uh, sorts of things and then really sort of look at the pros and cons of each thing. And odds are that maybe some of the reasons on your, your initial list you'll begin to question, but most of them I think you'll, you'll probably continue to believe in. Um, and now having gone through the process of really analyzing them and becoming critical of them, uh, you'll really sort of have the confidence of knowing that you're going to law school for the right reasons. Uh, these are the reasons that'll make you happy and fulfilled. And now going forward in the process, you'll always have that why as a sort of foundation um, to look at and, and draw energy and inspiration from. Now, now once you have that initial list of whys, uh, that I think can provide you with the initial guidance to begin to figure out uh, what are the particular law schools that make sense uh, for you to be focused on. And, um, and the way you can do this uh, will, will vary depending on your goals, but you might consider um, the degree to which going to a top tier or prestigious law school really uh, will, will be advantageous. You might look at whether different law schools have different particular programs or whether there are particular professors that you might want to work with. Um, you might think about the area of the country or the city that you might want to be in. Um, there, are, there are any number of different factors, but, but the more you know about your why, uh, the easier it'll be to uh, winnow down the list of different law schools. And what I want you to do is, um, with this list of law schools, really break it up into three different categories. Um, in the first category, I want you to pick one school, only one that will be your top choice. And right now, don't worry about whether you have the qualifications, whether it's realistic. Um, really think about if you could have your pick of any, any school, which one would it be? Um, and, and if you feel like it's tied between two or three, you know, really think about it and, and really come to decision on, on one that you really want to aim for. And then in the second category, uh, these, are, these are the group of law schools where uh, you would be very happy going to, where uh, the, going to any one of these law schools would basically help you get to your end goals or fulfill all the whys that you identified in the beginning. And, um, and another way to think about it would be that if you were offered admission into any one of these law schools, would you have hesit any hesitation about accepting an offer? And if the answer is no, if the answer is that if you get into one or more of them, you would accept an offer, then these definitely should be in your uh, category two. And then I would have a, a third and final category, which is a, a series of, of law schools where you, if you get in, you'd be open to going to them, but you're not entirely sure and you may want to consider other plans. Um, you, might, you might decide, for example, that uh, you'll take a year off and reapply, or you might decide that you, you want to uh, find a job instead and then maybe revisit the law school thing. Um, maybe you want to do a different graduate program, but, but these are schools that are at least in contention among your, your competing options. And, um, and in terms of, you know, if you're wondering whether or not there is a certain number that you should be aiming at, um, what I would say is that, not really, that depending on your goals and your whys, uh, the, the number may fluctuate. Uh, so I remember, for example, when I was at uh, the Admitted Students Weekend for Yale, uh, there was a, a classmate of mine who was debating between going to Yale Law School or, or not going to law school at all. So he you know, maybe only had one uh, school on his list. Um, I remember I had four, and I ultimately applied to four schools, but I also know people who will apply to 10 or 15 or even more uh, schools above and beyond that. Um, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. The only thing I would urge is, as your list expands more and more, think about whether you really did the initial work on the whys, and you really have a a deep understanding of what you want to get. And odds are that the more you know about your plans and so forth, the more you'll be equipped to really have a, a hierarchy. So once you have, once you really identify your whys, you subject them to 
uh, criticism, you, you revisit the whys and really sort of reach, uh, know with confidence why you want to go to law school, uh, and then you use that to figure out what are, what are the specific law schools, the specific programs that you want to uh, aim for. That'll give you a, a, a solid baseline and a foundation to begin to develop the other parts of your application.